John Luke! Hi, John Luke! What's up, buddy? Oh, boy. What's up, boy? Hi, boy. You're so cute. You're such a good boy. You ready? What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time I drop a video and you don't miss not one video. Everybody in here, smash that like button, share this video and drop a comment down below during the video, after the video, before the video, whatever you feel, let me know what you think, let me know what you like about the video, let me know what you want to see next. You saw by the title and the thumbnail, we got a good one. So. Let's get straight into this groom. <laughs> All right, this is John Luke, and y'all have seen him before. I will tag his, his last video in here so y'all can see his last grooming appointment, but he is matted. As you can see, I have to shave him down and it's pretty bad this time. So, we are shaving him naked. The first time I shaved him, I had to shave him at 10. I don't think I'll have to do that again. Although, this seven is just, it's going through. Y'all can see there's a big old mat right here just connected. And she was honestly she was doing really good. So since his last appointment, he's been on a routine schedule and he's been coming every about every eight weeks. But the issue is as he's gotten longer, the appointments were stretched out too long. And he got mad all over again. So shame on him starting from scratch. Also, for the, I, so as you guys notice, I've been cutting my video times down just because it's easier. You can also get to see the nitty gritty and everything that I'm posting. So I speed them up a little bit, but nothing where it's super noticeable. Or it, like if it seems like I'm going faster, it's because it's sped up a little bit. Or my voice doesn't completely change, but y'all can still understand what I'm saying. John Luke, John Luke. Yeah, she. Yeah, four weeks and he's this mad at again. This is crazy. And I went through that dog. I mean, it took me because the back of his neck was like super matted. And it took me a little bit to demat the back of his neck, and nothing else was nothing else was mad. I went through, I went through him with a comb and everything, and nothing. Yeah. Huh? Right. And she's got two. So when Tay comes back, he's probably gonna be mad at again too. Yes. I thought so too. Was she charged? Oh, okay. last time it was mad at real bad around his sanitary, and that took me a while to shave off. But he came here a month ago, and I shaved the sanitary, so that's probably why it's not mad at. It's, it's huh? Right. Good Lord. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and hot air. Yep. No, uh, uh, McKenna? No, she did a uh, four. Yeah, she did a four blade. Yeah. No, it came out real nice. She she had like um calyx everywhere. That little clipper is just working for its life. Hmm. Yes. Not a clue. <laughs> Cause to be honest, this is worse than the first time he was mad because he wasn't mad at all over like this the first time. His legs weren't mad at, but his legs were mad at this time. Let's cut the ram. No, this is not easy. Mm -hmm. I believe it. I believe it. Stop. John Luke, what are you doing? These flippers are so temperamental. So temperamental. Yeah. It's like, geez, this would be such a great clipper if it didn't shut off for everything. And I love the clippers, but good lord, they shut off for everything. There. Teddy has a Teddy. John Luke has a brother named Teddy, who is another Google. And I actually recorded him, but I have not put him up yet because it's a voiceover video and I just don't have the time to do voiceovers lately. Um, but I don't know. I may put him up before I put John Luke up. We'll see. Before I put John Luke's second video up, which is this one. But we'll see. But yeah, he was here. His brother was here December 19th and he was left long just like John Luke was. But he wasn't as long as John Luke. So we'll see what he looks like when he comes in. His hair is not like John Luke's is not as thick. So uh -uh, I gotta shave it, buddy. I'm sorry. I saw when you came in that you were super mad at. So I already knew what was gonna happen with your haircut. And I'm sure my clippers are struggling to get through him because he's so mad at and the hair is being clumped in it. It's like, come on now, I just need to go through the hair so I can wash him. That's it. Do as I say, clippers. Sure. 
didn't come in earlier. Yeah. Yeah, and it holds up the, yep, the check-in process. <laughs> what is like an ancient Roman name or? Stop, John Luke. Stop, boy. So I'm not gonna do his sanitary because in front of his little pee pee, it's very hard and gunked. So I'm gonna let that uh, clear out first. Well, I'm gonna clean it first so it can soften up so I can shave it. Because if I shave it before I clear it out, I could cut his skin. So I'm gonna wait until it's all clean and easier to shave and then I'll shave it off. Yeah. Yeah, Sandra was about to clean it too. And she was like, you done bathing your dogs? I was like, nope. <laughs> don't even touch it. I know, I don't, cause I don't usually pre-clip, but he was bad. I was like, I'm not about to dry all this hair. Nope. Not with how bad it was. And I can't say that she didn't do what I told her to do because last time when she was here, I told her, you know, that bringing him back in like eight and 10 weeks, is too much when his hair is this long. So she brought him back in four weeks, but she knew already that he had to be shaved. So she wasn't surprised in the slightest. 
gonna watch it. You got some mats in your face. Well, we're gonna see what I get to do on you. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> Should I leave you a goatee and a beard? No, I ain't gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. Please put your head down. This bottle is whitening shampoo, the all purpose shampoo, and a little bit of oatmeal shampoo. Just to help soothe his skin from the tight mat. irritated spots from how tight the matting was so but just in terms of placement he was more matted than the last time when I had shaped that last video also and this is not sudsing up a lot because I had to shave them too short when you have to shave the body doesn't suds up good but I'm making sure I'm scrubbing it and rubbing it in to make sure it's clean. Yeah, well, when the fur is short like this, it's pretty much like washing the skin. <laughs> Doesn't suck up that much. But I can feel it when I'm getting clean.
Okay, so we are back with John Luke. I gave him a break in the crate while I cleaned my blades just to see if that would help my clipper, figure out what's going on with it. But as you can see, I already have him hooked up to the belly band. That is because he's acting like he don't want to stand. So we're going to start off with his nails and sanitary and then finish the rest of his groom. Put your foot down. Thank you. So belly band is for a little assistance to help him stand since he forgot how to do that. Just for simply putting him on the table, he forgot how to stand. So figured I'd help him out. His nails are long, but you know what? His nails are always like this, but I can say his nails are healthy. So that tells me that she feeds him pretty decent food. Maybe I need to change my blade drive. Now I can shave that because it's all clean hair. One thing I can say about this clipper, it is not for people who do not take care of their blades. Like I take care of my blades, but this clipper has forced me to take better care of my blades. Because it will shut off. <laughs> it will shut off if the blades are not oiled if the blades are too hot well yeah if the blades are too hot it'll shut off if there's too much hair cake in there where the blade drive is these are very temperamental blades so i mean this is a very temperamental clipper so do not get this clipper guys if you do not want to take care of your stuff it's a great clipper it's just temperamental and it can be frustrating because sometimes all I want to do is get the paw pads and it's like, nope, take the hair out. Oh, also, if your blade is not oiled, it will shut off. Whew, chow. Okay. I'm trying to hold you up is a task. So I'm probably going to shave the top of his head in a five because I had to shave half of his head already. Can y'all see that? I had to shave half his head. And it's not going to look right with a fluffy head. So I'm probably just going to shave that in a five. Shave down here in a five too because I had to shave it. And shave over here in a five because I had to shave it. And then maybe do his muzzle a little fluffier where it blends in. But he's got spots here that I have to shave out that are pretty matted too. I'm going to finish him up. The rest of this going. I just knew when he came in, I was going to be able to do a cute little fluffy haircut on him. You know, I'm not going to lie, as a groomer, I do get disappointed when dogs are matted because I love a fluffy eagle. I love a fluffy dog. But when doodles are matted, yeah, that's disappointing. Well, Doodles or poodles, because he's supposed to be a purebred poodle. Which he very well could be with these tight curls. He could be a party poodle. Because typically these are pretty quiet clippers. Man, 
that could be why they keep shutting off. And me rolling it, that's me stretching the skin so I can get a clean cut and also so it doesn't catch on any loose, so the clipper doesn't catch on any loose skin. It's like shaving a little stuffed animal bear when they have that short fur. But this will show his beautiful eyes. Because he really does have pretty eyes. <laughs> John Luke. So I'll probably do a guard comb on his ears so they're not all big and fluffy and the rest of his body is all short. Hopefully they got a hat for you, buddy. Because this cranium is whoop. Alright, so I'm going to take three fourths to it. Just to see what that looks like. ears down so everything is proportioned ah, ah, ah. yeah you don't look exactly like you did your very first room that's for sure come here John Luke And see, the one thing I like about when I have a consistent client who wants their dog fluffy and everything like that, if I ever have to shave the dog, they know that it's because I absolutely have to and it's absolutely necessary because I don't just shave every single dog. And they know I'll, I will leave their dog fluffy if I can because I like a fluffy dog. But I can't leave them fluffy if they're mad at it. So that's what I appreciate about clients who come on a consistent basis and learn you as a groomer. Like, yeah, you wanna live longer? That's no problem. I like that, I like a long dog, long haired dog, you know? But if it gets to a point where they gotta be shaved, then they gotta be shaved. And they understand, because they know I'm not gonna just shave the dog just because. Especially since last time I dematted him, dematted his back, because he was matted just right here last time. So. For those people that are like, I don't understand why you don't just shave it. Well, because I better report with my clients, and that's not what I like to do. You know, 
I also don't mind dematic dogs, but if I can't, I can't, you know? That man had me cracking up. He said, donate John Luke's hair to make a wig foundation. That had me cracking up, okay? And I understand why they bathe him at home and bathe their other dog at home because they get muddy. I mean, and he has an all white dog. Well, somewhat all white. His ears are, you know, tannish. But they have an all white dog and he gets messy. So they want to keep him clean. I get that. I understand. They're just understanding all around. So. And that's for everybody in here watching this video. If you have a dog that you like to bathe at home, once your dog's hair gets to a certain length and it becomes really long, you start to lose control of how close to the skin you can get with the hair dryers that you have at home that you use on your hair. It's a lot different when you're dealing with dog hair. Dog hair is thick. So just be mindful when y'all are washing and bathing your dogs at home. Sorry in advance. I put the ear powder in there, get it all dry. See how it just comes out. Now when I get that mat out, he ain't gonna like that. But I'm gonna do the mat part last. Now, I hate doing ear plucking with hemostats, but I gotta get it. Oh, that feel good because you got a big old. You yeah, don't eat it, John Luke. Sorry, buddy. I don't know. You're not gonna like this part. Damn it. That came out your ear, bud. So I can't even get him unclipped. You're doing really good for it, buddy. I'm proud of you. Look at that. Look at that ear. Looking good, bud. Looking good. Hold on, we got a little bit left. Got a little bit left. Come here, give me this. Give me this ear. It's because you be getting water in your ear. Make him match your ear. Mm, it's gross. ear canal Just a little bit all right hold on because you got one little clump over here And you're being so good for it. Buddy, I need you to not force your head this way. Come on, head down. Damn, I hate that one. 
use these ones. Up. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn. It don't want to come out. I'll put a little more in there. See if that helps. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. I don't stop thing. Uh. Oh, come here. See, that's why I don't like key mistakes. Let's see if I can get the rest of it out. Alright, he's coming out. You know, your ear is irritated because of all this. <laughs> Buddy, stop. See, you don't mind the stuff being plucked from your deeper roots of your ear. Now, come here is the outer ear that you don't like to be plucked, which is understandable. I need to get it, bud. Stop. I know it can be uncomfortable. I know. But you got a gigantic pile of wax. I can see. It's a good thing I decided to pluck your ears. Look at this thing. It's black. Hold on. Hold on. Stay, buddy. See? That's from your ear. No, you cannot lick it. Stop trying to lick it. Stop. John Luke. Here. I know, I know. That one price things a little bit because that ear was irritating. Now look at that clean ear. Look at that. There you go. Shake it off. Stop. Stop. You better not turn that head. You see what I'm doing. Stop. Don't you even do that. I decided to use straights because they're faster. Uh-uh. 
make sure you guys smash that like button share this video drop a comment down below do all that fancy youtube stuff i love you guys train your dogs for grooming make sure you watch every video straight through watch those ads enjoy the videos i'll catch you in the next one love you guys